Hey guys, what is going on today? Well, today we got a brand new product from Greg Masterson over there at Masterson's Car Care. He sent me their Wash and Shine shampoo. I don't know if you guys saw my unboxing. If you haven't, go over there and check that video out real quick. He sent me a package with three more things, the Trim and Shine, the Wash and Shine, and he actually uh, also sent me their glass cleaner right here. So what we're going to do today is be actually trying his Wash and Shine shampoo here on my 370Z. This thing is filthy. I swear I haven't washed it in probably pushing a month, and it's been raining the last week or so every afternoon. I'm actually doing right this right now. The hope we don't get the rain before the car is washed and the video is done for you guys. But let me tell you, it may be not look like it in the video, but the thing is covered in dust and dirt and sand and everything on the back bumper. It's just nasty. You know what? I've got to get this tried out. So he said this to me. He said, try it out. So I can't wait to do it. So first off, Greg, thank you very much for sending this product to me. I really do enjoy it. If you guys don't know, Greg is the guy from Chemical Guys. Everybody knows, should know by now who he is. And he left to go uh, start his own little line over here at Masterson's Car Care. And uh, go, he has his own YouTube channel and his own website you guys might want to go check out, masterson'swax.com. Anything, it'll be really easy to deal with. He'll ask answer any of your questions you need. So guys, without further ado, what I'm going to do next is you'll see me around in front here with the bucket situation here. I'll go ahead and uh, mix it out for you, and then uh, we'll show it to you. We'll do lubricity tests, suds tests, and all that good stuff. And then we'll go ahead and start washing it like normal. We'll just cut to the very end and show you the final results. You know the deal by now, guys. So thanks again for watching, guys, uh, and I will see you all. All right, guys, here we go. Welcome back here. What I want to do is, before I show you anything, this is why I have not actually put out a lot of videos right now because it is blazingly hot here in Florida. Right now, so the temperature here in Kissimmee is 91 degrees, but with the real fill temperature with humidity is 105 degrees right now. So I hope you guys understand that this is why I haven't cut a lot of videos out lately because in the middle of the day, it's just it's blazing. I'm sweating and I haven't even started washing on the car yet. And normally I would do this either in the early morning or very late evening when it gets uh, cloudy or something like that. So I apologize for not getting a lot of videos out, but I trust me, I plan to. I just now I'm waiting for the fall to hurry up and get here. So without further ado, let me go ahead and put this down and we'll go ahead and read off the directions here. First off, let me go ahead and show you what's on the front. It says obviously the Wash Shine Shampoo. It says Super Suds Wash. Works in direct sunlight. A lot of you guys, I've actually had people say, you're not supposed to wash it in the sun. With this product, this pH balance, you can wash it in the sun. This will not strip your wax either like some of the other ones like you guys have know, uh, known in the past I've done from Chemical Guys or uh, Turtle Wax. They have products that will strip your wax if you actually put in too much of it. This will not. It says it has slick finish formula. It's also here made in the USA, unlike many other companies that actually you know ship it to China and stuff like that. So it's actually good for us Americans to actually put people to work, which is which is nice, you know what I mean? All right, directions is uh, shake well, add one ounce of water, wash and shine to five gallons of water. Uh, it says water down the surface, obviously, you know what that is. Rinse using clean water for a perfect shine. Dry using a premium microfiber towel. Enjoy your ride. That's all there is to it, guys. You know how to wash. I've made a how to wash video, so I'm not going to drag this out too much. So I'm going to go ahead and pour one ounce into this. I actually brought the mixed cup like I usually do now because so many of you guys are internet people are like, oh my god, you put in too much or you didn't put enough in this, that, and the other. I get tired of dealing with that, so that's why I go ahead and use this so that I can show you and prove you guys wrong. So I'll go ahead and set up everything, pour it in there. We'll mix it up for you. I'll show you the results. We'll do a lubri lubricity test, a smell test, all that fun stuff, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to have to be trying to do this in there. There's all kinds of kids running up and down the street. I know I'll be dealing with that very soon. This car, as a matter of fact, has turned into my daddy mobile. I use this every day to transport my son around in. If you saw one of my videos, it's even got pampers and stuff in the back right now. So I know, I know. I don't know if I'm losing my masculinity or what, but I still love it. All right, so I went ahead and shake it up for you guys. We're just gonna pour an ounce in, just as per the directions here. Uh, I've got the ounces on this side, so I'll go ahead and do it. I'm just eyeballing here because it doesn't actually have a one ounce line. Just letting you guys know. And that's about right there. I can see the, you see the two ounce line here, so it's about right there, one ounce. Let's go ahead and pour it all in there real quick. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mix it up. And then I'll come back and we'll do a lubricity test, smell test, all that fun stuff. So I'll see you in two seconds. All right, guys, here we go. We're back. We've already hit, went ahead and filled up the bucket here. We're ready to go. Let's do a lubricity test. Lubricity, I'd say right now, honestly, is about a, a B to B plus right now. I mean, I felt a little bit slicker formulas, but nothing bad or anything like that. Uh, suds wise, it actually looks really, really good right now. Obviously, I love the suds. Uh, Greg, you came through on suds for days. I love it. That's me. And guys, you can use this in your foam cannon. You can use it in your foam gun. It's no problem at all. This can work with anything, okay? Let's do a smell test. My One of my favorites here. Oh, man. The smell is just great. I probably got some foam on my nose right now. The smell is, I don't know, it's almost like a flowery smell, and I really like it. It just 
any product that has a good smell to it that I can enjoy while I'm doing it and it's done all chemically smelling, I love it. So there you go, there's an A plus there on the smell. Great suds, good to go. So what I'm gonna do here guys off camera is of course I'll wash down the whole car and water it down and then I'll go ahead and use the uh, car soap here and then I'll come back with some final results and I'll show you everything and we'll show you what the car looks like and uh, we'll talk about some final results and reviews. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Buddy. All right guys, welcome there back. Time for those final results of the Masterson's Car Care Wash and Shine Shampoo. As you can see, the results speak for themselves, guys. I'm gonna back away from the camera real quick. Look at that bright red shine. That is what I'm talking about. It was absolutely disgustingly filthy. You should have seen my clean water bucket. It was blocked by the time I was done. I mean, you could actually write down here your name on it with so much dust and junk on it when I was uh, getting washed. It was nasty, but now look at it. It is gorgeous. You don't even remember, I did this in the middle of a hot day over 100 degrees and you don't see water spots everywhere. Remember a lot of you guys were saying, oh, don't wash in the middle of the sun. Thankfully, this is pH balance, and Greg was thinking ahead when he designed this, that you wouldn't have any problems in the sun, would you? Because, of course, Southern California, they don't like it rain like we do or anything like that. So it worked out perfectly. The suds were good. The suds are actually designed, he said, to actually slowly dissipate so that when you wash it off, it washes off without any streaks, any uh, watermarks, or any of that kind of stuff. And that is just a cool, cool idea that I didn't even think about. And that's all him right there designing the stuff. So in my opinion, this is a solid A product. No issues whatsoever with it. I mean, it looks good. What more can I want from a car wash? You know, it smells good. It had plenty of suds in the beginning. And like I said, it just easily went away. And look at it. It made it look spotless from absolutely filthy. So I gotta say, it's a solid A product here. No problem from Greg's products once again. So thanks very much, Greg, for sending this to me. I am loving it. Uh, in the future here, I'm actually about to go apply their uh, tire shine on my brand new tires. I put four brand new tires on my 370Z here since the last video I had. Uh, they needed it. They were bald. If some of you guys knew, the back tires are bald. Having a little bit too much fun. So I'll be actually uh, doing a separate video on that tire shine here in a few minutes. So guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did like it, you know, remember what to do. Hit me with a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Go check out uh, Greg's new channel at Masterson's Car Care. And uh, go say hey for him. Tell him that Accord sent you. And then we'll see you guys in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all later. Take care.